everyone, I am P. Radhakeshini. I am a medical student and here I am going to discuss about hydatid cyst. So let's move. It's just a review about hydatid cyst. Okay? So, hydatid cyst. So, definition of hydatid cyst. It is a structure that contains larval form of echinococcus. So, it is a structure that contains larval form of echinococcus. We know that echinococcus is a type form. So, hydatid cyst is the larval form of echinococcus. Nothing much. Okay? So, about causative agent. So, causative agent of hydatid cyst is echinococcus granulosa. So, echinococcus granulosa is a type form which is the causative agent for hydatid cyst. Okay? Here is the structure of hydatid cyst. Okay? So, let's look about this. And this is the pericyst. The outer layer is the pericyst and in between, the between layer, mid layer is called ectocyst and the inner layer is called endocyst. It also has cholecyst and daughter cyst as well as brood cyst. So this is about the structure of hydatid cyst. So about host, so we do have definite host and an intermediate host. So, dog is the definite host and sheep, goat will be the intermediate. Pathogenesis is egg of the echinococcus granulosa that is the causative agent and egg of the echinococcus granulosa ingested. It is ingested into our body through contaminated water or food. Okay. So, through contaminated water or food, it is ingested and it then goes to the stomach and then to the duodenum. Through the esophagus, it goes to the stomach, to the duodenum and it get hatches. So, egg hatches in the duodenum. Then it forms the henach embryo. So, at duodenum, it forms the henach embryo and it penetrates within the intestinal layer and through the portal circulation, it goes to the liver. So, liver is the most common organ involved in hydatid Okay? And through the inferior vena cava circulation, it also goes to lung. So, do remember, liver and lung are those two important organs. Okay? So, we will also have symptoms related to this. So, this is about pathogenesis. And clinical features is 75% will be asymptomatic and most common sign is right upper quadrant pain as liver involved and anaphylaxis feature. So anaphylaxis features we can remember as spa. Okay. It is skin rashes, pruritus and allergy. So spa, that is spa ever related to skin. So anaphylaxis features will be skin rashes, pruritus and allergy and jaundice is present, splenomegaly and pleural effusion, lung involved so pleural effusion occurs and the most common sign is hepatomegaly. So this is about pathogenesis and clinical features and differential diagnosis. So similar to this is hepatoma, amoebic liver abscess and cystic liver disease, cystic disease of the liver. Out investigation of hydatid cyst, blood test is done for the antibody detection, IgG and the x-ray, chest x-ray is done for calcification in lung. In lung any calcification is present or not or plural, in plural about plural effusion identified and ultrasonography is 90% accuracy and it shows presence of daughter cyst. MRI shows the structure of the hydatid cyst. Okay. So treatment is albendazole, mebendazole and prosequentol as well as if it is severe we go for surgery and we can remember it as PAR. So PAR, what is PAR? P for 
puncture and A for aspiration, I for injection and R for respiration. Puncture is done using 22 volts needle cholangiography and aspiration of the fluid and dot exist is done as well as injection. We go with sclerosin alcohol injection. It's very many. It's about the classification of hydatidsis, WHO, IWG classification. So, there are CL, CE1, CE2, CE3, CE4 and CE5. They have classified into six groups and so first three are in active stage, okay, active system. First three up to E2 it's active cyst and next CE3 is transitional cyst and E4 and E5 is inactive cyst. So here this contains no cyst wall, it's just a cyst without cyst wall, okay? And here is the double uh, line sign and snowflake sign. So it has a correct border. It is a, it has a wall and CE2 is rosette like or honeycomb like so it appears as this and water lily sign is CE3 so this is the water lily sign of CE3 classification and CE4 is ball of old sign so this is about ball of old sign and CE5 is arch shaped so here is the arch shape. So this is all about hydatid cyst and thank you so much.